Welcome to Atticon Plays Railway Empire. All right, hi, this is Atticon, and welcome to Season 5, Episode 3 of Railway Empire by Request. We are playing the Japan DLC, the Northern Honshu scenario. And in the last one, we did a bunch of, uh, adding a bunch of uh, uh, rural businesses to our network. I, I didn't care for the task. I thought it was just sort of a, eh, go do something. Didn't mean much, so I uh, disrespected it and kind of half, half-assed half it. And I apologize for that, but we got it done. All right, so what are we going to do now? We are going to, uh, uh, have to, we have to build Matsumoto. We've already, we got two tasks we already did one almost immediately by just lowering our prices and then here uh, we just have to build a hotel in Matsumoto as we covered on the last one uh, that's one of the special buildings that comes with the travelers functionality introduced by this DLC and that hotel requires a, a building slot and we need a, a city of 60,000 to do that so we got to grow Matsumoto so I think what we'll do here is think of this as a three city cluster uh, specialty one where Matsumoto is our main thing and we'll have uh, uh, Kofu and Nagano feed it certain things and what we want to do is get the early early parts of the uh, supply chain going as fast as we can now I now that I'm looking at this I don't love how this worked out uh, this station is on we've got a dedicated passenger line now what we might do is we could undedicate it but I think that's going to mess us up with the travelers functionality so I want to run a parallel track with um, for freight so uh, we want to get if we look at the four uh, raw materials we need right up front rice wood soybeans the one that's missing is octopus and there's no octopus is there anything over here? There's octopus way over here. Are we allowed to buy in here? No, see, we're not allowed to go there, so that doesn't even help us. Uh, we can't buy in there. The only octopus is down here, uh, at this Indo fishing port. And we could run octopus over if we have to, but I think we can play without it. I think we can do extremely well without it. So, how do we want, what kind of wear thing we want to do? We could put a warehouse here and do a little Johnny Hodges pass through three city cluster with a focus on Matsumoto. That would be a natural design and it would work perfectly. Or we could just run all this stuff to all three cities. Um, I think I like the warehouse idea because that way we don't have to put large stations out here on, 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 on any goods we would bring to the warehouse. Right, a small station running to that warehouse would feed all three cities, basically. Uh, so let's do that. Let's put a warehouse. Let's put a large, big warehouse signaling control. I'd love to get it fit over here because of the location of these two. I'm thinking of this uh, auto signal station as a uh, um, freight, and, uh, and this one over here is passenger. Love to get one over here, but the mountains are going to make it. Well. Huh. It could work. I say that. And I saw it turn green there once. There. We could put it right there. We will. Okay. So we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six things in there. We'll max them all out. We'll give it repairs. And then we're gonna go down here and say, okay, we need another state. Well, no, we'll, we'll just, the way this is turned, we'll just expand it. And we'll run a line from here, run it along our uh, passenger track, and then bring it into the warehouse. Speaking of which, where's our supply towers? Okay, we got them at the ends here. Oh, way down here. We need one uh, up here to for for this line. Okay, so now we've got uh, let's see signals. We need signals. Well, 
What did I do? What did I do? Uh, that was that was uh, that was so close to being right. It was just the opposite of what we want. Uh, start over. Okay, come on. All right, let's let's do this again. Run a line. Run it to here. Then double track it. So you get out of your rhythm. Follow our mantra. We we uh, we have our stations. We have we lay our track. We make sure there's um, junctions at both ends. We put in our signals. Then we give it a supply tower, which is there. So cool. All right. So there's one side of the equation. Now the other side of the equation, we just need to come down here and run parallel to this. Be nice to pick up that tower, but it's not, not the world's biggest deal. Uh, let's go down like this, like this, and run it all the way down here. Be nice to pick up that tower, and we can, okay. Uh, like so. We'll double track that back. So we've got our got our track. We've got junctions on both ends because they're both auto signals. We're going to put in our signals. Like so. Give us supply towers. It has one up at uh, this end. Let's make sure it gets one at the other end. Uh, like there would be good. Okay. <clears throat> And then, uh, well, that's it. Okay. Perfect. Now we just need to load it up with four, uh, well, three raw materials. We can't do four. And um, let's see, yeah. So I think the first thing I'd like to do, uh, take advantage of Trixie. Let's bid on this uh, sake brewery here in Kofu. Now, why did I buy that? Uh, because what I want to do is actually have the sake in Nagano. And I want to replace that eventually with uh, textiles because we've got this uh, linen right here, the fabric right here, linen I guess it is, that we can run into Kofu and then that'll supply another product. And we'll need a city to city kind of a line for that uh, because it won't fit in there. Oh, you know what? Uh, the textiles will because we're not going to do the octopus. So let's take out the octopus. Although T would be nice. Now nah, let's put T in there. All right, we'll put T in there, and then we'll run a sit. Once we get start doing this, uh, I basically just bought it now before it. Uh, happens to accidentally make some money on us. Um, I don't think it would though now. In hindsight, I didn't have to do that right away. All right, uh, train station. Can we pick up both of them? We could pick up both of them with a large, but that actually is just going to confuse the matter. I'd rather do a small station right here. Maybe move it back a little bit. Give us some room. Oh, we don't, uh, you know what? Didn't even have to do that because we don't even have to run, we're just gonna run, that. this is the advantage of going to a warehouse. We can just run one small line, you know, one line out of a small uh, uh, station and uh, just run it to the warehouse. And it's automatically, once we have this thing rocking and rolling, it'll automatically go to all four, all three cities in our cluster. So we do, uh, run full, go to this warehouse, uh, 51 days, 51, that would be a one, a two, a three. Now, the way I'm counting that is I'm thinking 50 is if you're supplying one, one per week. And if I do three of those, that would be one per week for each of the cities. And then we're going to have the sake is going to be eating up some extra. And this will probably, actually this will start eating it up too. So we're going to knock this down. We're going to do this right away. We'll knock it down, put in weaving. Uh, 
over here. So we've got a weaving industry now, and we'll we'll run a direct line. I'll, we'll just do that right now too. We'll do uh, a direct line that goes into that goes into uh, Kofu. There we go, beautiful. And we'll do run full in the Kofu. That's and one train will get that done. Okay. So we've got uh Okay, good. So now the reason we did it right away is so we're not going to take too much rice from this warehouse to bring back to Kofu, right? So uh, now we've got some rice going. Let's get our wood going. And we could just join it in with this line. And we could put some Jan Jansons up here. Now we can run our wood and we can kind of do the same thing. It'll be very similar, should be. All wood to that warehouse. And that's, again, that's a one, two, three. Okay, good. So we've got wood going. Now we need soybeans going in there. Now they're a little clumsy because they're on the wrong side of the, wrong side of the track, so to speak. Uh, that's all right, we'll deal with it. Uh, let's see, we'll come out of here. Like so, and we may have to do a little bit of, uh, yeah, a little, a little jumping over and joining in, like so. That's not so bad. Okay. Get rid of that short block right there. And give it some Jan Jansons and run full into that warehouse. It's 28, so that's like a two. Let's do at least a four. Right, I'm gonna do another one too because uh, we're gonna be eating up that uh, the soybeans here in Matsumoto for that uh, stuff the soy sauce okay uh, well, we, we can go ahead and set up the T we might as well the T is also on the wrong side of the tracks but not a problem I think we'll go out like this and jump over that might work Okay, we've got a station up here. We'll go down like so. Cross over. And we can just go, we can go all the way in, I think. Uh, yeah. And we'll have some 
have a train or two or three running T in there. 27 days, a couple of trains more than enough. Okay, so we've got uh, T, we've got uh, rice, logs, soybeans, and in a minute we're going to have sake and um, uh, what do you call it? Soy sauce. Well, we've already got, we, yeah, we should actually have some soy sauce now. Yeah, we've got four in there now. Okay, good. So now we can start making our line that goes uh, to the cities. In fact, let's just let's just let this run for a minute and start getting some stuff into the into the warehouse. It's going to take a while to get enough stuff in there to, so that Matsumoto isn't taking everything. We definitely want any techs we can bid on because we are, we are after all, trickster and we have lousy research. Okay, we're starting to get some rice and some soy sauce, so... Let's start running our other lines. We'll get the sake going. So let's run, um, slow down. I don't pay black bill. Okay. Let's start running full. Going to here. Let's come out of, uh, we'll do our maximum trick and come out of platform four. And it can just line up here, that's just fine. That works. Come out of here, line up there, it's, that's perfectly fine. Okay. One. We'll run four trains for now. It's not a terribly long haul. Okay, then we want to do uh, run, run full, going to. Uh, Kofu, and we want it to come out of track three. No. Uh, track, track three, like that. Oh, and it's going to need uh, more kill out. We'll need we'll need a. Um, a shunt line for it. Why don't we expend, extend this track? You know what we're going to do? No, no. Come on. Come on. Let's put a shunt line right here. By, good, nobody's using that, that's perfect. All right, set up a line from here, run full, go to Kofu. We want you to come out of uh, track three, and when you come back, we want you to go over here. I did tell him to run full, didn't I? I did. Okay. And there's where's one loading up. All right, so cool. So we've got uh, we've got our little variation of a Johnny Hodges. Now Johnny Hodges would typically uh, you would do a, a pass through. We count this as a pass through and do Nagano to here. 
to here and back, uh, which would have been a good way to do it, actually. Uh, that would have been just fine. But now that we got our fancy little Maxim th trick with the uh, uh, platforms, uh, I wanted to use it because <laughs> it's cute. Okay, we're starting to gain on gain ground here. Uh, we may be forced to uh, come up with uh, octopus. In fact, uh, let's just do it. Let's just run octopus up there somehow. Uh, i tell you what we could use. We could use another uh, warehouse on this side and we could run octopus and then we could run this uh, fabric up there and then have, the, have a similar setup for, for the cities uh, that way. So why don't we do that? Let's, do, let's just go ahead and do that. Uh, and if I'd been playing ahead that far, we could have, uh, oh, look at that, this line misses that. Aha! Uh, have, a, have a tower. Okay, um, this could have gone over here, would have been a better fit, but now nah, I wanted to get that one. We're fine, we're fine. Don't mind me, I'm just mumbling to myself. Okay, big warehouse, signaling control on this side. And in it, we're gonna put octopus, and we're gonna put uh, cloth, and we'll see what else. Okay, and we've got cloth down here, so let's set up that part of it first. Uh, we'll just come out, I think we'll just come out the other side. Or no, how would we do this? No, let's go right here. Let's take, let's expand this station. And we'll run a line out of here like this. We can pick this up. We can't fit through there, I know. Uh, we'll go around on this side. <laughs> I love it. This is gonna be a massive super highway of track. I'm starting to like this a lot. Okay, here we go. one here we'd like to have another one up this way maybe here okay and here we'll do a little differently we're gonna do it here we're gonna say you need to you need to pay your price for getting up there you need to be full to go up there And we'll run some trains running full there, and they can just, uh, they can queue up. Actually, I would like a queue for them. If we want to run, do run full. You know what? We're not going, yeah, we are. I like run full. Okay, let's do a little shunt line here. If I could do it. Nobody's using it, so we're going to have this guy here. Uh, when he comes back, he's going to go right there. Copy that. Paste. Paste. Okay. Fabric going up here to Matsumoto. And noodles and clothes. Okay. We've got 
got the sake. We're going to have to get octopus up there. This is a tough one to grow. Okay. So um, what we can do here is expand this station. Give it repairs. Expand this station. And we're going to go through here. We're going to uh, come out like so. Hook into this line. And in this one, we didn't build this to be used, right? It's a, it's a crap track. We're gonna blow it up. We're gonna come off of here. Uh, let's see. Get some Jan Jansen's there, so we'll know where we wanna do it. We're gonna come off here like this, and then we're going to build a not crap track that goes in here like this spend the money, make the investment. Well, wow, why does it have to have such a huge slope on it? Uh, okay, run it through like this. And then uh, hook it into Kofu like this. Take out that short block. And then, um, okay, now, now I'm seeing this as the T should be over here and the octopus should be over here, right? So, uh, can we come out this other side? can with an unfortunate uh, slope and uh, we'll get over it. Uh, I'm not uh, I'm not even really worried about the slope too much here. Let's see. How would we do this? We want to come down here. this. And we'll put T in this one. And this one we're going to actually turn the T off and put octopus in. Okay, and then uh, these trains here we're going to edit them and say, instead of going to warehouse five, go to warehouse six. And we can copy that and paste it into the other one. I think that's the end of it. Yep, there's only two of them. All right, so now we've got them running. Now I'm lost. Okay. So now we can uh, get rid of this track. It doesn't mean anything anymore. Okay. And we should have two trains taking T to warehouse six. And we do. Okay. So now, now we should be able to run a line that goes from here, track two, runs full, goes to that warehouse, and then it can go back to Kofu and then leave Kofu empty. So if there's anything you, you like up here you want to take to Kofu, that's fine. Otherwise, 
deadhead it, we don't care. And that's going to take 102 days. So two of these would be a rate of one. Two, three. Ah, four should be plenty. Okay. Uh, so we'll, now we'll have octopus going to this warehouse. We'll have tea going to this warehouse. And see, we're starting to get the, the cloth over here. And this, and we've, and we've got plenty in here. Uh, the wood is a little low. Oh, it's got a sawmill. He's 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 churning through that wood. Uh, I'll run a couple more trees. Encourage him to uh, ramp up. Probably should have bought that. Okay, the octopus is on its way. That'll help a lot. Uh, we can't do noodles and clothing just yet unless we want to run it from, uh, you know, over here somewhere. And we don't. Uh, okay, Nagana is growing great. It's very happy. Uh, Kofu, the little tiny town of Kofu is very happy. Well, we've got some money. I want to start spreading out the uh, repairs, and we'll go back and do this over in our kind of our home base as well. And we can expand that. It's now a, it's now both a station and a passenger station. So. Finally, we got it growing. Create any traffic jams? No, it's all, it all seems to be moving reasonably well. This is not a problem. This just means that we don't have enough stuff going back. We don't need that many trains because we don't have that much uh, stuff coming back. Uh, now, of course, the weakness in this is that you have certain trains, um, like like here, for example. Here's a train that has has some sake on it that we could use in the system. It has to wait for our full train to go back out, but that's okay, I like full trains. So this all seems to be working. We're growing Matsumoto. I don't think we've even gotten any octopus up there yet. Yeah, we got. Yeah, we do. We've got it. Got it coming. Let's speed this up so uh, see how this is going. Now, an octopus will go in and and just kind of immediately be consumed by Matsumoto, which is growing very nicely now. And we just about got this done. By the way, I did load it in the uh, spreadsheet to see what we were looking at based on um, when we first saw the task list and the current date. Uh, we had till June of 1875 to get done, so we're about two years ahead of schedule. And as soon as this, as soon as we get our 60,000, uh, we will we will put a hotel in and we'll be done. So, uh, market crier, yeah, we'll take a market crier, get us some more passengers. Don't care about the rest of it. 
a little bit of research. Uh, boy, it's precious when you're talking about uh, Trixie. Let's do the more more money on our mail. And we could be playing over here some. Um, well, that's all. It's all on autopilot now. So I'm just going to go out here and put in maintenance sheds and try to spread the maintenance out all over the place and expand these stations. Not that it matters that much. See, let's see if we have enough. Yeah, see, see, we're, we're ready to ramp this up another one. We need to bat, move it up one because we were down to zero on our stock. We've got trains waiting, which means that we're not producing this fast enough to uh, fulfill what everybody needs. I just saw a locomotive slow, but then it went away. So there's some place that they're we're pushing it on the on the boundaries. Here we go. We've got a hotel, hotel, hotel. We want to build a hotel. We'll throw it right there. There we go. And we put a hotel in Matsumoto. Now let's let him tell us about what's going on. Okay, yep. Yeah, yeah, they're going to love that hotel. Now continue working on the original goal of opening up the path to Kyoto. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, oh, that's a, that's a bid. I thought that was a person. Oh, oh, look at this. Roger's now bidding against us. Aha! So now we're now we're in competition with Rock. The world has opened up on us here, and let's just see how we're doing against him. Uh, we're at twenty-four million. He's at six. I think we're all right. Can we buy him? We can. I think Roger's going to disappear. I think Roger is going to uh, disappear. I mean, I'd like to keep him around and make money off him with an analyst, but, you know, uh, just to soon let him go away. So we can get about two, we can get about four million in, um, from bonds. Four. And it's going to take us by the time we get around to it, 15. So we would have to accumulate a lot of cash. We'll worry about Roger in a little bit. Uh, what are we trying to do now? Connect the touristic site in the area of Okuriku. Connect Kyoto and Tokyo. Transport 50 passengers between Tokyo and Kyoto. Make sure your routes have an average pro popularity of 115%. Okay, so we're going to get on all that in the next episode. Uh, so we got our hotel. Uh, we'll go through and look at all our passenger lines. Like we'll go use this functionality. We'll look at these lines, and we'll and we'll, we can you know super easy just to lower the price to make the popularity higher. Uh, that would be one way. We could look at putting buildings in and stuff like that. I think we'll probably just do the price thing. We're making so much money on freight and a little bit on industries that, uh, you know, if we sacrifice a little bit of uh, money uh, on the pricing, that's okay. And, and, and if you think about it too, like, like these lines here, that passenger line we have going right here, look at the money it's making, even with the lower prices and the run full orders. So uh, we can still make good money on our Prof, uh, our passenger traffic uh, with very low prices and have very high popularity on everything. So again, we'll work on all that stuff and start uh, uh, getting all the way out here to Kyoto, which is here in, in Roger's world. Here's Roger's world way over here. And I think before we actually do anything with that, we're going to say goodbye to Roger. So that'll be our plan is work our way out there to the edge of it maybe and build up some money and say goodbye to Roger and then, then do what we have to do with Kyoto. And that'll be in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this. 
I hope it'll help you become a better player. I hope you'll like, comment, and subscribe, and join us for our next Railway Empire video. Thank you.